but he was so tiny and so cute. And he loved his pacifier. I mean, loved his pacifier. He was probably about a week or two old. Wilbur and his brother Orville were rescued together. They don't even have their eyes open yet. When they're young, you have to feed them four times a day. One day he wasn't eating and you could see he was straining and straining and he made it so clear to me that he didn't want to keep fighting. We lost Orville and that was rough. Wilbur he was literally glued to me the whole weekend. He was lonely. We never raise raccoons alone. Another rehabber brings Tipsy and Romper in as often as she can so that Wilbur can have some playmates. They are two of the sweetest raccoons. He was playing with them and having a blast. It was pretty cute. He made a series of squeaks and snorts because he was so excited. I want to say he's so sweet, but there's so many people that would disagree because he's only sweet with me. He's got spunk and attitude. Wilbur doesn't necessarily like other people, but if you give him a grape, he'll like you. He pretty much wants to live right here on my shoulder. <laughs> Can you turn around, buddy? There you go. He's a pretty cute little guy. If I am anywhere, he is climbing up my leg. Whether I'm wearing pants or a dress, he does not care. Last week, Wilbur was up on top of a table. I mean, my dog dropped open when I saw him climbing up it. So he's since been called Spider Coon. He's always trying to get to the highest spot. And that's a pretty natural instinct, but I've never seen a raccoon love to climb as much as he does. release them until they're old enough to get their rabies shot. He's nowhere near old enough, so he's going to live with us through the winter. It's hard when people think that they're terrible animals because they're not. They're really amazing. Thanks, bud. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe.